Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can include your Anchor.fm podcast episodes in an EduBlogs blog post. So, the first thing we need to do is we're going to go over to Anchor. Now, if you haven't used Anchor before, it's a great platform for creating simple podcasts. And I have a video tutorial linked down below here that you can use to get started. Now, I have my first episode here, the introduction episode. And you'll notice in my account, there's a little embed code. And I want the embed code for the episode. If I'm on my home screen in my Anchor account, there'll be an embed code, but that's for my entire podcast profile. I just want to embed one episode. So to do so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from my home here into my episodes, which are down listed down below here. Now I'll select that episode. Let's get that embed code. And now over here in my EduBlogs account, I'm going to say something like, you know, listen to the latest episode of the class podcast. And I might put a little introduction in here and say, you know, the, the class had a great time planning and recording this episode. Please listen and comment. Now, I could just paste that embed code from Anchor into the post here, but if I do that, this won't play the episode correctly. It'll just display the embed code, and that's not going to help anyone. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the text editor, and down below our written text, we'll place in the embed code. You can go on and continue to write below that if you want to and say, you know, please check back next week for the next episode. And now I can publish my blog post with the embedded podcast inside it. We'll view it and we'll see there's the podcast, and we can play it back right there. So that's how you can include Anchor.fm podcast episodes in your EduBlogs blog post. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com and freetechforteachers.com.